All right, in this video, we're gonna be learning about Godot's built-in level editor slash prototyping tool that you might not have known about. Start with a blank 3D scene, right-click on the main node and add a CSG combiner node as a child. Next, let's start building up a level by right-clicking on CSG combiner and adding a CSG box node as a child of it. This is pretty much like any other box in Godot, but you can adjust its dimensions by dragging out these red dots on each side. A lot of other game engines have level editors that procedurally generate a grid pattern to help with scale and measurements, and you can do that in Godot as well. In the inspector next to material, click on empty and add a new spatial material. Click on the preview window and under albedo, click and drag a grid texture into the texture box. If you don't have a grid texture, there should be a link in the description to a grid texture that you can download for free. Once the texture is applied, it's gonna look a little weird. But to fix it, all we have to do is go to the Flags tab, turn World Triplanar on, and then go to the UV1 tab and turn Triplanar on as well. And just like that, the grid texture is perfectly applied even when you adjust the dimensions of the box. We're going to be using this grid pattern a lot, and so to avoid having to enable World Triplanar for every single object in the level, we're going to click on the small arrow next to the texture preview, press save, and save it as whatever. That way, we'll have a pre-made texture that we can drag onto any object we want and it'll automatically have Triplanar enabled. Okay, so what else can we do? One thing we can do is add another CSG box and use it to change the shape of the first box. I'm going to move it up a little, change its dimensions a bit, and then in the inspector, I'm going to change its operation from union to subtraction. And just like that, the volume of the box has been subtracted from the other box. And what we're left with is this swimming pool looking situation. You'll notice that there's no texture on the inside. And to fix that, all you have to do is drag the grid texture we saved into the material slot on the subtracting box, and boom, you've got a complete grid again. Now let's add another CSG box and I'm gonna move it over to this corner here. I'm gonna change the operation to intersection and now the only thing you can see is the section of the swimming pool that is intersecting with the new box. Pretty interesting, but maybe not too useful. So I'm just gonna undo this by deleting the box. We can also make shapes that are not boxes. Right click on CSG combiner and add a CSG polygon node as a child. You can change the shape of this box by pulling on any one of the red dots in the corner. We can also change its width by adjusting the depth slider in the inspector on the right. Now you have a ramp that you can place anywhere you want. Next, let's right click on CSG combiner and add a CSG cylinder as a child. Just like the other shapes, you can adjust its dimensions by pulling on the red dots. I'm gonna move it up to the ramp, elongate it so that it goes through the platform, and then change the operation to subtraction so that it creates a hole in the platform. This kind of thing is pretty great for stuff like windows and doorways that you would otherwise have to create in a separate modeling program. Anyways, feel free to experiment with creating a level. Godot has other shapes like donuts and spheres, so you can mess around with that. And now, when it comes time to test the level in-game, there's one last thing you need to do. Click on the CSG Combiner node and make sure to turn on Use Collision in the inspector, otherwise your character will just fall through the floor. Run the game and now you have a prototype level that you can run around in, and it only took you a few minutes to create. Unfortunately, this tool is really only good for prototyping. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and bell, links to my Discord and Twitter down below, and as always, have a nice day.